Good morning and welcome to the OCP U.S. Summit. Please welcome Chairman and President, Open Compute Project Foundation, and Vice President of Infrastructure at Facebook, Jason Taylor. Good morning. Hi. Hi. All right. Good morning. Thanks for being here at the seventh annual OCP Summit. God, I love the track suits. We're going to have to talk about those in a minute. So uh, over the next two days, you'll see some of the work that the community has been working on over the last year and uh, take part in conversations about the future and hopefully get some ideas for your own infrastructure. I'm Jason Taylor, the current president and chairman of the Open Compute Foundation. I'm also a VP of infrastructure at Facebook. Um, I don't have a beard. <laughs> Frank and his beard are here. He's still on the board, he's still working hard, but uh, we switched to a new leadership model of the board. We're gonna be rotating things around. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. I did try to grow a beard for this. Turns out it takes longer than two weeks, so I shaved it this morning, sorry guys. I joined uh, Facebook to work on infrastructure in the beginning of 2009. And over the last seven years, we've seen a huge transformation in the way we maintain and build our infrastructure. When I started at Facebook, things were a lot simpler. Our usage was on desktop, and our videos fit on a single filer in a small colo in San Francisco. The growth was incredible, and we spent most of our time just figuring out either how to get through the next week or how to find data center space for the next year. Now with more than a billion people around the world using Facebook every day, those colo facilities have turned into open compute data centers, and those filers are now OCP storage sleds. When I look back to when OCP first got off the ground five years ago with its bold mission to remake servers and data center infrastructure, since we got started, hundreds of companies have joined and thousands of people have participated. It's remarkable to see where we are today. OCP is the place where engineers can come together to build amazing things. Collaboration between companies is hard, and anybody who's ever tried to get an NDA in place between two companies to work on a tech project where some IP might be at stake knows that that's a pain in the ass. And then if you actually try to do it with three or four companies, it's effectively impossible. OCP is one of those organizations that allows us to come together to work on projects as a community and really land some amazing wins. It's a great time to be part of the leadership of this organization. We have a very strong board, and we are all inspired and impressed by the achievements of the community. With more than two dozen contributions that have been proposed and accepted over the last year, we have fantastic technology coming into the OCP, uh, OCP Summit this year, and I feel a tremendous sense of momentum that's been building really over the last couple of years as we move beyond just hyperscale and into finance and telco. Speaking of the foundation, I want to thank all of our board members for their hard work. One year ago, we thought we could better utilize the collective talents of the board, so we moved to a rotation. That's how I came to be in this position today. And we can't put events like these on without the support of our sponsors. So let's all give a round of applause to this year's sponsors. I'd also like to take a minute to thank the project leads and incubation committee members for their tireless efforts. We wouldn't have all these new contributions ready for everyone if it wasn't for these folks, and so let's also give them a round of applause. Look for the project leads and uh, IC members in the green track jackets. They look like they're from the 70s over here. It's, I can't believe how those turned out, that's amazing. Um, they are the core of the technical leadership of the foundation. Uh, they come together every six weeks, work on acceptance criteria, work on specific proposals, 
talk a lot about, are they encouraging innovation? Are they discouraging it? Can we standardize SKUs? Can we consolidate on more fundamental building blocks? It is a fantastic group of people and uh, we're all very lucky to have them. And so again, thank you. OCP is all about making data center infrastructure more efficient, flexible, and scalable. By stripping down infrastructure to the core building blocks, you can take them and put them together, take them apart and put them together in the best way for your environment. I'm talking about clean server designs, simple storage blocks, and network switches. You'll find no hardware lock-in on an OCP server and no pointless differentiation. In the past five years, more and more industries have seen the benefits of taking open approaches to infrastructure. It's not just the biggest web companies building OCP uh, gear anymore. OCP has gotten the attention of in organizations where infrastructure is core to their business. We can pretty much declare victory among all the high scale and cloud companies in terms of either accepting OCP or a white box variant. And companies like Facebook, Microsoft, and others are either deploying OCP or white box to almost all of their infrastructure. This emphasis on infrastructure as core to the business is what's driving the momentum that we're currently seeing among the financial, uh, financial tech and uh, telecommunications companies. These are the companies that need to invest in infrastructure in order to just exist, in order to be efficient, in order to just do their business. And this is why we really feel that finance and telco have both found a home in the OCP org. The acceptance from, of OCP from the telecommunications industry is a particularly important sign of momentum for the community. We launched the OCP telecommunications project earlier this year at the end of January, and you'll hear from several of the other companies who just joined, AT&T, Deutsche Telekom, SKT, and Verizon, and you'll, talk, you'll hear from them later in this keynote lineup, and I'm sure you'll be able to talk to them uh, throughout the next two days. This is another industry where infrastructure is core to the business. Now the momentum is building and helping OCP and helping the OCP community start to address the efficiency problems that they find in their data centers. And, and hopefully we'll end up with a far more efficient infrastructure for everyone to use in, in the telecommunications world. We've also seen the birth of the telecommunications project. So the telecom infrastructure project, also called TIP, is a effort that OCP welcomes. It is near, it is very close to OCP, it is, it is complementary to OCP, um, but it focuses far more on the challenges of software and hardware for wireless access networks and wireless backhaul. And given that different focus, we needed a different approach and we needed a new, uh, a new organization and, and again, OCP welcomes TIP to the community. The next question is what comes next? So as more contributions are made to OCP across varied projects, it's, it's easier to adopt OCP tech than it ever was before. Now, generally speaking, if you have megawatts of servers, megawatts of servers, tens of millions of dollars of quarterly spend, you're gonna wanna go all in on building facilities. You're gonna wanna buy land, you're gonna to wanna to build OCP air-cooled data, air data centers. You're gonna to wanna to build inf efficient power infrastructure, really counting the, the loss at every stage in your, in your uh, 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 electricity chain. Rather than do UPS, uh, rather than do UPS systems at the, at the room level, you're gonna to wanna to put it kind of off to the side of the servers like the OCP, OCP racks. And you're gonna to wanna to want to adopt OCP motherboards. Now, that's applicable if you're deploying megawatts. Now, if you're not, and you're a lot like Facebook was just a few years ago, you need a 19-inch rack compatible server, and there's no reason that you cannot adopt the OCP motherboard in your infrastructure. And we're actually really excited to see Quanta, WeWin, and others adopt uh, the OCP motherboard designs into the 19-inch form factor. So these are standard servers, standard power supplies, and they'll go into a rack that you find in almost any uh, colo facility. 
So thank you uh, to the community for producing that because I think that that will start to build a lot more momentum among grassroots, among a much broader set of industries. Now, before I close, I wanna spend a little while talking about networking. The trend in networking over the last six years is too big to ignore. It is absolutely crazy how much bandwidth you can get for about the same cost as what you paid six years ago compared to today. Six years ago, you'd be building racks with one gig uplinks, maybe one gig to the server, and, and today it's completely cost efficient to deploy 40 gig networks and 100 gig networks. This is a 20x increase in the amount of networking that you can provide per server over only six years. Now, that needs to affect every aspect of your infrastructure. If you're building things that store, if you're building uh, file storage systems, all of that needs to be disaggregated. You need to take advantage of this exponential gain in networking and the amount of bandwidth you can, you can uh, give to your infrastructure per dollar. I hate to say it, it really just, it, it kills me, but locality for anything to do with networking in terms of disk or even flash is, it's starting to become a thing of the past. For the next 10 years, we're gonna be in a phase where you really do not need to worry about how much networking bandwidth you have within a data center and software and systems designs need to be taking advantage of it. I love network locality and I love applications that are aware of the, ne of, uh, the network as much as everybody else. But if you're not taking advantage of this, you're really missing out. Later this year, Facebook will be deploying uh, 100 gig networks uh, in one of our latest facilities. And as of January of next year, everything will be 100 gig. So you should be looking for that kind of tech coming to you and to your data centers very, very soon. Now I want everyone to remember that no matter what company you represent, you play a part in making all of this vision happen. OCP is a community effort. We all come together to define the problems and to take them down. And I would say more than anything, this organization allows us all to work together with just less friction and really move a lot quicker. If you think of the last six years of what you assumed about data centers and about networking hardware, you know, you assumed everything had a faceplate. Data centers were really not very power efficient. The power supplies you bought were maybe 92% efficient. There was like, everything was hard. And now, building efficient green infrastructure, data centers with, with far better PUEs, and servers without that differentiation and lock-in, completely possible and really easy to get today. And that's all because of this community, and so I thank you. And uh, on behalf of the community, I really want to thank everyone who's contributed over the last several years.